sent effort by some legislators to change the order for payment of the 13% derivative to oil producing communities may be generating some controversies in some quarters. Our correspondent Joseph Kunde uh, visited one of such communities and will bring you details of that report in the course of this bulletin. Uh, okay, I'm told that the report is ready now. Fifteen-year-old Oyemomoyemi Emmanuel is one of the brightest in his school. I traced Emmanuel to his house at Abura, one of the oil-producing communities in Payelsa State. The circumstances surrounding his environment has influenced his desire to become a human rights lawyer. I would like to be a human rights lawyer and so that I can fight the injustice and oppression in the society. I choose law because the people in my community are suffering from unfairness and that's why I hope to become a great lawyer so I can defend and fight for the injustice and oppression that is going on in the society, not only in my community but possibly all over Nigeria. This community, like other oil producing areas, are the goose that lay the golden eggs of Nigerian economy. Yet, lack and poverty speak so loud for the deaf to hear, even as their benefit for the natural gift from creation is shared by the state. Emmanuel's aspiration is not far-fetched as the first president of the Ijo Youth Council also lifts the lead on the effects of direct payment of 13% derivative to host communities. It's not a new agitation by communities. Uh, the communities have always expressed uh, concern that they don't get full benefit of 13% or any other benefit. And uh, you can be an oil producing community. You might not get anything from that, except uh, the oil companies themselves are doing some corporate social responsibility uh, programs in your community. It gets to the state. The state have to manage it in a way that people should benefit. But communities are saying they are not benefiting. And if uh, it is derived from the communities, uh, the 13% the is derived from the communities. There is nothing wrong in the communities managing what comes from the federal government to them. If the bill seeking to amend the 1999 constitution to allow for direct payment of the 13% derivative to oil producing communities is passed into law, the communities will not need an intermediary when being paid through the Development Commission, it will be hoped that greed of the community leaders will not then become another huge wall, separating the people from the dividends of having such natural resource on their land. Joseph Kunde, TVC News, Agbura.